Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Fresh coffee, just getting home from work. First, I wanna tell you something I found out. So Vicks Vapor Rub, we know it, we love it. It's our generation. I use it on my toe. I got, my toenail fell off. I damaged it, I dropped something on it. It fell off, bad, boo-hoo. Started to get a little fungus, so I've been putting Vicks Vapor Rub on it to kill the fungus so I don't get gross toe. But I unlocked something new last night. I got poison ivy on my legs when I was just a little couple spots. If you rub this on it, it stops the itch almost immediately. I know, who would have thought? Vicks Vapor Rub for the win, guys. This is not even a sponsored video. All right, what have I gotten at the Dollar Tree, you ask? Well, we're gonna start with, I got a, I've been getting a lot of household -y stuff. Cause it's that time, you know? So I grabbed a couple of these, what was that noise, Alex? Canned airs. Um, I use these for lots of stuff. I have a fan in my bedroom that I use this to get the dust out of, my keyboard, um, some vents. It's nice to have for cleaning. So I grabbed two cans of canned air. They're not big, but they're enough for what I need. And then I found this. This is called Neat, and these are bleach tablets. So easy to keep in your heart. Easy to keep your hard surfaces clean, fresh, and your laundry whiter and brighter. One tube is equivalent to a half a gallon of bleach. Um, let's see, remove cap, whitens bleach, and it just says in an HE machine, regular load one tablet to the washing machine dispenser, then start dispense processing. But you can also mix it with water, make like a cleaning spray. Um, I grabbed two. So this is equivalent of a gallon of bleach. And you get 10 tablets per. So I'm holding it like this because I can feel the grit on the outside. So I need to rinse those off before I take them up to my laundry room. But that is great because I sometimes spill my bleach. I know. All right. Um, let's see. What else do I have in here? Oh, I got some fun stuff. I picked up a dishwashing cleaning packet. I've not tried this. It says fights mineral lime scale deposits, which I have. Um, so you place one tablet in the detergent tray of the dishwasher. If you don't, if you're not running it with dishes, if you're running it with dishes, you place one tablet in the bottom of the dishwasher, detergent should be placed in the main detergent tray. And this comes with six tablets. So it doesn't clean your dishes, but it cleans your dishwasher. So I will probably run this on an empty cycle. Just cause. Just a cause. I went to the, my store and they didn't have bags. So they gave me a trash bag, which I think is kind of weird but also okay i'll use it for trash because i'm saving my i saved these bags for kitty litter scoopage right right i've also been on the hunt for the sanitizer hand sanitizing spray the touch lens dupe the one with the square and you spritz but i have yet to find it at any of my stores but then i also saw on tiktok that the stores, some of the managers and staff keep all the good stuff for themselves. I don't know if that's true. I mean, I know it's true for this one store because the lady at the store, she was a manager. What is that? She was a manager at the store. What is that? Dirt. It scared me. Um, and she said that's what they used to do. That the good stuff would come in and they would hold it in the back and they would call their friends and family to come and pilfer. So, I mean, yay you. I've already used these, but I picked these up. These are felt pads and they come in all different shapes and sizes. And what I did is I took one of these little small round ones and put it on the back of my wreath holder so it won't rub the paint off my door. Cause I just painted it. 
So I grabbed these. You can use them for all kinds of stuff. Um, I had originally bought the felt circles to use the soft side of the felt circle, but then I got this. So I'll just put this with my craft stuff. This I cannot wait to hang up in my garden area. It's a thermometer for outdoors. It's pretty heavy. It is a metal thermometer. And I think it's pretty on track because my house is 74 degrees and this says it's 72. So, and this was laying on the floor. Let's open it, shall we? It doesn't come with screws, but that's okay. I have, I have some screws or I can get some screws. I don't think it comes with screws. Yeah, it does not. But it definitely is for um, outdoors. It's metal. But I loved this one because it has the bees on it and this teal color. And I thought that was super cool. So I'm going to hang this outside on my patio so I will know what the temperature is when I go outside. I do not have a lot of stuff. Um, I did get a birthday card for a one-year-old. I don't have a lot of stuff. My store seemed to be in that between place again where we don't have a lot of things, but that's okay. Um, I grabbed this. This is a plate charge, a charger plate, right? You don't eat off it, but if you're being fancy, you put your dinner plate here and this is pretty, but it's, do you see this? It's honeycomb, it's bees. So I'm pretty sure I have a wooden sign of this size or can just put something decorative in the middle here and put it up in my kitchen that I decorate with bees on my shelf. And I just thought this was so cool. So the honeycomb is like a shiny gold, right? And then it's a little more matte in here. I thought that was super neat. And I liked the texture. I don't need more than one though because I don't eat fancy dinners. It's true, I don't. Um, some more new, new cleaning to me stuff. Powerhouse, it's toilet bowl deodorizer. Toilet cleaning gel stops lime scale and stains. And it has an air freshener in it. So we all know you're not supposed to stick things into the back of your toilet, right? So these things are better. So you put it in here, right? You have to take this off and then you push it and pull and some of the goop sticks to the side of your toilet. I've used the Clorox brand before. Um, I have not used Powerhouse brand. And you get 14 dose, 14 flower stamps in this box, which I think is pretty good if it works. I have a lot of toilets in my house. So I grabbed this. I will tell you, I've been using the stain wipes and they are fantastic. I didn't find any at this store because I was gonna bring a box to work. Um, this is a name brand. This is Real Techniques. They, I believe, are the original beauty blender. This is a Miracle Skin Care sponge enhances skin's natural glow for even makeup application ideal for all skin types um it's a face wash situation all right so i had to read the directions real quick but okay how does it tell me to use it i should say how to use it right It says it's impregnated with collagen, whatever that means, but you wet it. And if you're gonna put toner on and look at the neat shape, but here's some little bubble bubbles. So when you're cleaning your face, it kind of exfoliates gently. They're silicone, they don't hurt, but they get in there. I like that a lot. And I like the shape of it, which I'm assuming you could use this side as, it's the same texture as a beauty blender. I don't know, but we're going to use it to wash our face. And it is a name brand, which is always exciting to me. Right, right. I grabbed some sugar-free candy. I have a problem, guys. I like chocolate a lot. Hold on. I just have a couple more things. Hold on. I just have a few things. Um, I worked a lot this weekend. So in a, from Saturday morning, 
until Sunday morning. I went to work at 6.30 at my part-time job. I left there at 2.30 Sunday morning. So I worked 20 hours and then I went back at 8.30 for graduation at the shoe and worked until 4.30. So I'm a little tired and I'm a little, but that's okay. Um, I found some of these super fun honeycomb like garland. Look at it's the citrus and it's 3D. So you open it up. And this has orange, lemon, and lime. This would be so fun for if, if you were having like a Cinco de Mayo party or something. Although it wasn't in with any seasonal stuff. It was just in the regular party or summer party. But that is fun for summer parties. And then this one, I am dying. Popsicles. What? And they're the honeycomb things too. Oh, and look, they come with foam stickers to hang it. That's new. And it's 3M. And you get a lot. So you get uh, five colors of popsicles. And they're that like construct that um, tissue paper. You open them up, you fan them open. I'm, we're gonna decorate something. I, I don't know what we're decorating, but we're gonna decorate something. And then the last thing I got, which I'm so excited for, it was $5. I got a welcome mat. I love this Siso, I think it's called Quar, Cor, C O I R mat. It has a rubber on the back. I've not ever seen one for $5. It's a decent quality. I love that it just says welcome. I'm actually going to put this on my back door. My front door has a kitty cat one. Um, however, the boys really are enjoying using this as a scratcher. So I might put it at my back door inside the house. So they can scratch on it because they like it. You know, if they're going to use it as a scratcher, I'm okay with that. So this was in the $5 section. My store seemingly is doing something to the plus section. I have not really seen much of anything of to speak of in there. Almost like they're redoing a, um, their branding or something. Oh, I also got these. These are mini twist crayons a little five count i thought these were super fun they will end up in somebody's gift bag i'm sure but they're just little twisty crayons and you get a yellow a red an orange a blue and a green so your primary colors one of my associates uh colleagues has young ones so i'll probably give it to her that they use markers on her bedspread so she wasn't she doesn't like that so I'll probably bring these for her. I should have got two packs. So maybe I'll pick up another pack. But yeah, they're cute. And they're Crayola. You cannot go wrong with Crayola as far as I am concerned. So guys, that's everything I got this week at the Dollar Tree. I will be back on track with some more content next week. I just took a little break this week. Um, after putting all those hours in, I was a little tired. But that's vacation money for next year. So I'm not mad about that. At all. All right, friends. I hope you have a fantastic day and you enjoy this video and I will talk with you later. Bye.